Well, a life without air to breathe, without water to drink and without food to eat would certainly not be sustainable. So in this session now, we're going to be considering breakfast. All night long, I've been breathing. I got up for breakfast and I've continued to breathe. So let's pause for a moment and think about the remarkable thing that is breathing. We rely, of course, upon oxygen in the air. Where does that oxygen come from? Well, it comes from these plants around me and plants all over the globe, but also from our oceans, our seas and our lakes, where the algae produce oxygen as part of their growth. What of the carbon in the carbon dioxide that I breathe out? That carbon comes from plants and animals that feed on those plants. These are just parts of the carbon cycle. Most people know of carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas that traps heat energy that would otherwise be re-radiated into space. This is a natural process, and indeed carbon dioxide in our atmosphere protects the Earth from parts of the sun's radiation. However, our excessive use of fossil fuels is increasing the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and contributing to dangerous climate change. So, let's get back to breakfast. What we drink and what we eat, of course, is fundamental to our welfare and well-being. And it varies according to where we are on the planet. So let's do a little exercise now where we consider food and drink, where it comes from, and how it's prepared. So let's start with water. Water, whether it's in the form of pure water like this or in the form of any other drink, comes to us in a range of different ways. Your water may be clean or it may be treated. It may arrive through pipes, it may arrive through bottles or other containers. Water is fundamental to life but not just in terms of our survival. It is also important through the water cycle. The water cycle involves the oceans, seas, and the land masses of our planet. Water is cycled all the time and has a fundamental role in the energy balance of our planet, our weather systems, and our climate. These are considerations for another time. Today, we are only focusing on water as part of food and drink. So now let's have a look at breakfast. In front of me, there are three versions of a typical breakfast. Here we have a good bowl of Scots porridge. Here we have another traditional Scottish meal of bacon, sausage, egg, and of course haggis. And perhaps a more modern version here, which is muesli with milk and a banana. What do I know of the processes that led to the production of these breakfasts? What do I know of the ways in which they were produced, the ways in which they came to the table? What do I know of the journey of the ingredients? What do I know of the processes that it were involved in the conversion of plants into animal protein, for example, in this sausage and haggis and bacon? What do I know of the ethical considerations around the production of these? Well, frankly, not very much. It's difficult to be precise and accurate about these things, but there are a couple of things that we can do. So, for example, by choosing local foods, we reduce transportation costs and reduce the carbon dioxide emitted. By choosing to eat less meat, we reduce the methane costs associated with its production. We can also make choices which, as best we can, reduce our impact on biodiversity and have an ethical dimension. There are a couple of very simple ways in which we can do this. And in summary, this means choosing local and choosing seasonal foods. Overall, our goal is to reduce our negative impacts on the planet's systems for example, through disruption of the climate, which is already having an impact on the water cycle, leaving some areas short of water or in drought and others flooded or resulting in weather events that reduce harvests. For some on this course, the impacts of our food choices will be all too real, as these will already be affecting local food availability and so their food choices. However, making such choices over what we eat and what we drink 
are perhaps important for another reason. It helps us to recognize that we are what we eat. Energy flows from the sun and elements are recycled. They produce the food that we eat. We are indeed part of our planet. In many ways, this is the most fundamental concept of sustainability.